What's up guys, this is HH Trader. I am gonna be making a new playlist for you guys. Got a couple of questions about Charles Schwab and uh, I wanted to answer those and kind of make some videos on going delving into Street Smart Edge, which is the application uh, that Charles Schwab has for um, trading, okay? Anyway, uh, well, let me say it this way. It's the desktop application that Charles Schwab has for trading. You can trade directly on Charles Schwab's website if you want to. But anyway, let's get into talking about uh, Charles Schwab first. We're here at Charles Schwab's website, and what we're going to see is that Charles Schwab offers a very clean layout. Now, when it comes to opening an account, when you get to Charles Schwab, uh, you go here to Schwab.com and they'll bring you to the client home. So this is pretty much the home page where you get all of your nice, um, nice information to kind of learn about the brokerage. So they have simple, simple little uh, subtitles here, what we offer, what we charge, why Schwab and then insights from their experts and insights from their other um, data collection um, uh, resources. Anyway, to open an account here, all you need to do is hit this nice brown, orange looking button that says open an account, and they immediately make you feel better right now. They say, okay, open an account in about 10 minutes. So you can choose what kind of account that you want to open. And of course, if you're a trader, you'll be opening a brokerage account here. So you open your brokerage account, hit continue. Um, and then you can decide, do you want to make this a joint account with someone else? Do you want to share it or do you want it to be an individual account? So if you're just planning on trading this account by yourself, hey, be an individual. We'll hit continue and I'll go only as far as I can. Um, it says, let you open your individual brokerage account. Um, it says, get this information ready so you can finish your application in about 10 minutes. Your social security number, your employer's address and phone uh, if you're employed. And then have if you have a referral code, you can enter your code there. Uh, and then you just hit get started. And they'll let you enter your first and last name, first, middle, last name, your date of birth, all of these things. And then you can hit continue. And then it pretty much takes you through a very quick process uh, once you have that information that they showed before. Anyway, once you have all that set up, you will have a Charles Schwab bank account uh, set up, a, a investor checking account and a brokerage account as well. Um and so you can actually you you can actually transfer money in and out. I'm not going to take you into mine because that's just too personal and it's definitely going to show you my account number. So not going to do that. What we are going to do is skip on over a couple of steps to Street Smart Edge. So let's go ahead and get over to Street, Street Smart Edge real quick. And over here in Street Smart Edge, I have the demo open right now. Um, and one of the reasons why is because I know that I'm going to be moving tabs around here and one of those tabs actually shows my account number so I'm just going to keep the demo account and I'm not going to open that specific tab so let's just go through a couple of basics here uh, getting into Charles Schwab's Street Smart Edge and before we start um, one of the reasons that I switched to Charles Schwab's Street Smart Edge was Last year, we started having a lot of technical issues with TD Ameritrade, and it was just too frequent. You know, it was just happening over and over and over again, and I just really was kind of fed up with it, so I was like, I need to look for something new, and so I found Charles Schwab, got with them just to find out that they had actually bought out TD Ameritrade. So I was like, okay, well, I just went from one to one, I guess. But there were a couple of benefits to being over here at Charles Schwab, and I'll get to those later on in the playlist, or it may be in this video, I don't know. Uh, but we'll see. Anyway, 
creating things in Charles Schwab Street Smart Edge is pretty simple once you get the hang of it. So let me kind of walk you through it and we'll, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know in the comment section and I will make sure you, I answer those for you. So let's go ahead and create something now. So we're looking at Charles Schwab right now and we want to create something in this blank space. This blank space will allow you to create a layout or a canvas to work within. Everything in Charles Schwab has to work within their windows. OK, so they open up different windows and different different little tabs that their functions work within. So let's go ahead and open that. We have a little plus button out here and you hit that plus button and it will create you a new text box here which is allowing you to name your new layout or your new canvas so you can name it whatever you want uh, it doesn't really matter you press enter and it's going to name that tab and keep that tab right there if you want to change the name you just double click and it'll uh, re-highlight and you can just type in whatever you want and click enter and now if you want to say um, another option you can right click it and you can get these options right here so we see new layout open layout blah 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 but what we want to do is try to rename high or duplicate high or close high okay so let's go ahead and create another one and we can just call it low press enter and now we have two tabs the names do not matter uh, with what's going on within each of these canvases okay so it doesn't really matter all this canvas is going to do is allow you a drawing board or a a customizable kind of adaptable grid here so let's go ahead and create uh, some things. We have some very important things that are launch tools in Charles Schwab or in Street Smart Edge. And we'll come up here and we see our little button here that says launch tools. We'll click this drop down and we're going to get four sections here. Account monitoring and trading, find opportunities, research and analyze and traders marketplace. So let me go ahead and tell you, as a trader and as wanting wanting the platform to work as simple as possible, I'm going to cut to the chase. I'm not going to run through all of these. I'm just going to show you what I use out of here. So the first thing is the account details. Definitely have that up. That's how I do my positions. Um, but it also has my account number in it. So um I guess I can open it, but I would I would have to do it carefully so it doesn't flash my account number to everybody. The second thing I use is the all-in-one tool. We'll definitely be going through that. The next thing I use is the notes because I, uh, if you've seen my stream, I take notes almost every stream. Uh, almost before every trade that I do, I'll be taking notes. Uh, the next one is the symbol hub. Now, I really don't use the symbol hub that much. We'll go ahead and skip over that one. Uh, block trade blah blah blah. Uh, the screener I do like their screener I like their screener a lot the next thing is the charts this is how you create your charts news research I definitely use these two don't really need the symbol lookup so much when you have everything set up and your chart set up because you can actually use the search bar on your chart to do a symbol lookup so you don't really need that if you want to do a watch list, especially if you're working with multiple screens, you can definitely have a watch watch list off screen so you can watch the movements of those stocks or tickers. Uh, web browser don't really use it. Third party offers. What that is, is so you have people that or you have companies that create third party software that you can use with uh, Street Smart Edge. I don't use any of that. Um, I just. I mean, you can look in it if you want to, but we're just going to go over what I actually use. Uh, if you have any questions directly to one of these, then yes, I can go into that. But uh, for, as for right now, we're just going to stick to what I got. Uh, and matter of fact, what we'll do in this video, we'll just do a brief overlook. Instead of diving in on this one, we'll do a brief over overlook. If we have any active tools, they'll show up here in the find active tools um, um, 
dialog box here and what that means is in your canvas when you have one of these tabs selected or canvases selected it's going to uh, the tool that you're using in there will be active and if you want to find active tools hey you'll just go here and find the active tool instead of clicking this and getting all of these you will get just the tools that you are currently using so let's go ahead and just open one let's go ahead and open a chart here so we'll open a chart and it should pop in did I click it yeah so there's a chart right there and now if I go to find active tools we see I have a chart that has the ticker Microsoft on the yearly chart or yeah one year daily chart and yeah that's what you get if you press exit it's not going to cancel or exit this box it's just going to close the find active tools all right but that is the beginning of this um, I know there will be questions on this and but I'm going to continue doing this and I just want to make really simple really short videos for now and just get in more in depth in the videos to come but anyway thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see me live trade I'll be live trading at HH Trader on YouTube or HH Trader on Twitch either one you can check me out also check out the rest of the content on Framework Fortune and see if you can find anything that is useful to you anyway that is it for this video um, remember that trading is risky if you come into it um, light-hearted you can get hurt it is very easy to lose and it is definitely a skill to win now that doesn't mean that you can't win luckily <laughs> doesn't mean that you just won't come in and press the buy button and make everything just oh my goodness but this is a risky thing and um, definitely like to like to make sure that people know that and it's not like just a video game even though sometimes it is fun like a video game you can definitely lose your life savings in here but anyway um, as always I will see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.